How is artificial intelligence used in industry today? Some common applications of artificial intelligence include manufacturing, video games, home appliances, and medical technology. One of the reasons that artificial intelligence is useful is because that robots that can think can replace humans in dangerous situations such as natural disasters or in the armed services. Having intelligent machines is good for manufacturing because they can do tasks that a worker would otherwise have to do, but faster and with more accuracy. Artificial intelligence is important in the medical field because many medical procedures, such as surgery, require a very stable hand, which a human cannot naturally do. My line of work include pacemakers, uh, which can sense abnormal rhythms in a patient's heart, uh, and some types of pacemakers can intervene uh, to restore a normal rhythm or supply a rhythm when a rhythm is absent if the patient's intrinsic rhythm uh, has deteriorated. Uh, the other aspect that uh, we use includes in the interventional catheterization laboratory where we place catheters inside the body. Uh, these catheters have metal tips on them uh, and we're able to go in the veins and the legs and trace the catheters up into the heart uh, where we then use a system called stereotaxis that employs magnets to move the catheter tips very small fractions of a millimeter that uh, are much more accurate than a human hand is at moving the catheter that small. Uh, since we're talking about microscopic nerves inside the heart being able to move the catheters very small increments at a time uh, is the key to our success in getting rid of abnormal nerve tissue inside the heart. Also, artificial intelligence is very important to video games because video game AI creates a challenge for the players and makes enemies more unpredictable. We've been using artificial intelligence in subtle ways for quite a while now, like for example every time you play a video game against a computer. Uh, we are just now entering the age where artificially intelligent personalities like Siri are playing a part in our lives. And while that is mind-blowing on its own, what really blows my mind is the fact that uh, by the end of our lives we will be taking technology and artificial intelligences like Siri and, and much more advanced than Siri completely for granted. But I'm getting ahead of myself, let's back up to 1997 Deep Blue, uh, an IBM supercomputer versus Garry Kasparov, the reigning chess world champion. It was a best of three series. Game one went to Kasparov. Game two went to Deep Blue, which was the first time that a computer of any sort ever beat a reigning chess world champion. And then game three, the deciding match between man and machine, between supercomputer and world chess champion, uh, was played out to a draw. And then the next match was also a draw. And then the next match was also a draw. And then after that, Game 6, Deep Blue finally won. But more than just IBM showing off how good their computers were at chess, Deep Blue versus Kasparov was significant because it was the last moment in history where it even could have been a remotely close match. We're at a point now where just about any smartphone can play chess at a grandmaster level, while meanwhile supercomputers are busy beating the world champions at Jeopardy. And so my point with all this is that we tend to live in the moment. We tend to care about just how technology can help us today. Uh, but things like Siri and Deep Blue are significant because uh, they are manifestations of where AI is at at a very specific point in time. I mean, artificial intelligence is going to continue to improve. It's not like it's going to get any stupider. And so uh, when you start thinking about what it might be capable of like 20 or 30 years down the road. Artificial intelligence is very important in today's society and will become increasingly more important in society of the future due to its rapid advancement and functionality.